Hello everyone, I'm Denise Hyde, Community Builder with the Eden Alternative, and I am here with Elizabeth Edgerly and Evie Kugelman, and let's talk about sex, a Better Together webinar um, on intimacy, sexual expression, and living with dementia. So um, I'd like to ask you, Elizabeth and Evie, why is this topic important and, and why is it important now? Well, who doesn't want to talk about sex? Actually, not many people do want to talk about sex and especially in their work. And so we're going to actually talk not only about sexuality and intimacy, but sexuality and intimacy in persons with dementia. And we want to be able to share what we've learned, what I've learned over 25 years with the Alzheimer's Association, so many challenging situations that I've had the good fortune to be able to consult in and learn from. And we want to share what we've learned with you and to start that dialogue because we know that it's happening. People are sexual beings and we want you to be equipped as care providers, as care partners to help people live as fully as possible, even when they have dementia and even when they want to have sex or intimacy. So I hope you can join us. I think it's going to be a really interesting conversation. And now I'll turn it over to Evie, my colleague, who can tell you a little bit more about what we'll cover. Hi, everyone. I'm Evie Kugelman. Uh, I'm a retired gerontological nurse and culture change specialist. And I trained as a sex counselor and educator at McMaster University in the 70s, Ontario. You know, sexuality and sexual needs in older adults remains an area that continues to be a vital human need to address, especially in long-term care settings, and even more so with people living with dementia. There is a great concern about evaluating the capacity of elders to consent to sexual relationships, concern about privacy, concern about family and staff reactions, to name a few of the complexities. The health and well being benefits of sexual and intimate relationships have long been considered essential. And yet, in long term care, due to cognitive decline, concern of capacity to choose to enter into an intimate relationship are questioned. And yet, addressing their capacity to consent is not addressed very often, anyway. You know, does an individual with cognitive impairment have the judgment and ability and the capacity to understand what is happening and whether they can consent to a sexual relationship? You know, it's time for healthcare professionals to be more sensitive and aware of the sexual desires and needs of older adults. Although they may deny sexuality as a human need, it is going to continue to present in various ways as people in congregate settings develop relationships. And we must keep in mind that the baby boomers who are more open about their sexuality are moving into long-term care settings now. If we don't begin to address this as an essential aspect of our lives, we will be faced with many crisis situations. You know, we have to be proactive instead of frequently reacting in the moment and trying to put out fires. All right, thank you so much, Evie and Elizabeth. And we hope that you guys will join us in our third panelist, Dr. Vicki Schmall, who's the Executive Director and Gerontology Specialist with Aging Concerns, um, as we talk about sex, intimacy, sexual expression, and living with dementia on December 9th.